In this video, we're going to see a maxillary phrenectomy done with the AMB Picasso diode laser on a nine year old utilizing both topical anesthetic, as you see here, being applied, uh, one of the stronger anesthetics uh, like EMLA. This is a, uh, a three part topical anesthetic. Uh, and then we're going to use chemical anesthetic as well. We put a couple drops in. As we pull in the upper lip, you'll see blanching in the paddle frame in here. You can see that the frenum is very thick and goes right through from buccal to lingual. You can see as I pull, it's not only moving but blanching in between, causing a diastema. This can be done at any time, both with the orthodontics or prior to the orthodontics. We see the diode laser now being used and the tip is initiated. It's been properly cleaved and uh, stripped, and now we're using a 3 watt continuous wave with this fine stream of water blown on to just cool the tissue initially. We're lifting up the uh, attachment, pulling the upper lip with our left hand and cutting with our right. And as you can see, we're slowly creating an initial cut that will actually eventually become diamond shaped. We increase the power settings to 5 watts continuous wave with a fine stream of water. This is a high fluency technique, which is a little bit more advanced technique. And as we're pulling with tension on our left hand, you can see the right hand initiated tip is beginning to uh, create a cut. I try and use the laser to superficially remove some of the uh, fibers that were running in between the uh, two teeth here. And again, now you can see that as it's releasing the fibers, we're getting, uh, with the upper lip pulling, and with the right hand, we're, we're slowly creating a diamond-shaped open done. wound. I'm basically cutting at both first and third base on this diamond, and gradually uh, creating a wider and wider shape. As I'm using the diode under the microscope, I am able to see where there are still fibers attached. You can see the water is preventing any charring from happening, and you can see periodically a, a little bit of accumulation of coagulum on the tip. Uh, we're, we should remove this coagulum periodically to prevent it from building up on the tip, but you can see by dragging in a horizontal fashion across the area, we're able to remove the fibers down to periosteum and without any uh, significant um, uh, bleeding, hemostasis is under fairly good control. Some people prefer, once they reach the periosteum, to use a, um, a either scalpel or something else to cut down, score the periosteum. We're removing a small tissue tag that was where the attachment was, at 5 watts, a light spray, and I'm holding the tissue with a, a pair of cotton pliers. You see, I'm just removing this tissue tag. I actually left a little bit, uh, I should have removed a little bit more. You see that it's actually fairly vascular, bleeding a little bit more. And uh, we go back in and remove some more of the fibers that were going right in between the teeth. Again, we're using continuous wattage with a fine water spray. At this point, we're actually using a pulse setting because I have finished most of the work and we're now at 2.2 watts uh, with 30 microseconds on and off. You can see the final post-operative result here immediately after treatment. No sutures are used and we'll see the patient again in 7 to 10 days to reevaluate the healing. At this point, we have the patient return about eight days later, and you see at various magnifications the healing that has occurred from the uh, phrenectomy that was done just a little over a week before. You see the tissue is now uh, healing, it's pink and healthy, and it's uh, really been a nice job of changing the freedom. I want to thank AMD Lasers uh, for their help here, and this is Dr. Glenn Nass saying goodbye.